the Indian Navy commissioned the INS Vela on November 25, 2021. Navy Chief Admiral Karambir Singh commissioned the INS Vela at the Naval Dockyard. This is the second major induction in the Indian Navy in less than a week. India's first stealth-guided missile destroyer ship, INS Visakhapatnam, was inducted into the Indian Navy on November 21. The submarines, in the Project 75 Scorpion class, are powered by diesel-electric propulsion systems, designed to act as sea denial as well as access denial warfare to the adversary. This project was conceptualized during IK Gujral government for acquisition of 25 submarines under P-25. Following it, in 2005, India and France signed a $3.75 billion contract to build six Scorpion-class submarines, with technology transfer as an integral part of the contract. The original plan was to induct 12 diesel submarines by 2012, followed by another 12 submarines by 2030. However, due to repeated delays and concerns were raised about the French government's failure to follow through on its commitment to transfer of technology forced the Navy to rethink the plan. And therefore, the commissioning of these submarines has fallen far behind schedule. And the older P-75 was brought into the new plan, Project 75i, using technology transfer from various foreign manufacturers. In June 1999, the Cabinet Committee on Security approved a 30-year submarine building plan that included the indigenous construction of 24 conventional submarines by 2030, which now been reduced to 18. Project 75-I was approved in 2007, is part of the Indian Navy's 30-year plan for indigenous submarine construction, under which six diesel-electric attack submarines of the Calvary class, based on the Scorpion class design, were being built. Three of these submarines, Calvary, Kanderi, Karanj have already been commissioned. INS Vela is the fourth, which is commissioned to the Indian Navy's Western Command and will be based in Mumbai. The Scorpion, Bagheer, is under trials, and the sixth one, INS Vagshir, is under construction. Six of the 24 submarines to be built in India will be nuclear-powered. At the moment, India has only one nuclear submarine, the INS Arihant. The INS Aragat, a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, was launched on November 19, 2017, and is scheduled to be commissioned soon. INS Aragat is an upgraded variant of the Arihant-class submarine. INS Chakra, a nuclear submarine, which is taken on lease from Russia, is believed to be on its way back to the country of origin. According to the report, under Project 75 Alpha, the Indian Navy aims to procure nuclear-powered attack submarines SSN. The Government of India approved the construction of six of such submarines in February 2015. The submarine Vela has been built by Mumbai-based Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders with collaboration with MS Naval Group of France. MDL and L&T are the only two Indian shipyards with submarine building experience and a national strategic assets. MDL has delivered two HDW Type 1500 submarines and four Scorpion submarines to the Navy. L&T built the hulls of four 6,000-ton Arihant class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines at its Hazira facility and integrated them at Visakhapatnam's shipbuilding center. Here's everything you need to know about Indian Navy's newest induction INS Vela. The INS Vela is equipped with cutting-edge stealth and combat technology and is capable of offensive operations that span across the entire spectrum of maritime warfare. Vela is named after a decommissioned submarine. The previous version of the submarine, Vela, entered service on August 31, 1973 and served the country for 37 years, before being decommissioned on June 25, 2010.
the capability and firepower of INS Vela will be crucial to enhance the Navy's ability to protect India's maritime interests. These submarines can undertake multifarious missions such as anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, intelligence gathering, mine laying and area surveillance. They have advanced acoustic silencing techniques, low radiated noise levels, hydrodynamically optimized shape, and have the ability to launch a crippling attack on the enemy using precision guided weapons. It has a length of 68 meters, a height of 12.3 meters, an overall beam of 6.2 meters, and a draft of 5.8 meters. It can reach a top speed of 20 knots, 37 kilometers per hour when submerged and a maximum speed of 11 knots, 20 km per hour, when surfaced. Naval sources said, the submarine can take up to 8 officers, and 35 men. Engine power of Vela. The submarine is powered by, 4 MTU-12 V396 SE-84 diesel engines, that indicates the higher power and, 360 battery cells, and a silent permanently magnetized, propulsion motor. The hull, fin, and hydroplanes are designed to have the least amount of underwater resistance possible and all equipment inside the pressure hull is mounted on shock-absorbing cradles for increased stealth. Weapons on Vela. INS Vela showcases India's notable strides in indigenous submarine construction. Vela is fitted with advanced weapons and sensors. All of these are part of the Submarine Tactical Integrated Combat System, or SUB-TICS. Once a target has been identified, the submarine can choose to engage it with either her sea-skimming missiles, known as flying fish, or heavyweight wire-guided torpedoes. The submarine's mascot is the Sub-Ray, which is an amalgamation of the submarine and the Stingray. The Stingray is known for stealth, aggression and offensive power. Its flat body allows it to sit on the bottom of the ocean, camouflage itself to predators, swimming above as it lurks for its prey underneath. The submarine is equipped with C-303 anti-torpedo countermeasure system and can carry up to 18 torpedoes or Exocet anti-ship missiles or 30 mines in place of torpedoes. India has a vast coastline of 7,516 kilometers, touching 13 states, but India's underwater capability falls far short of its requirements. While China has 65 submarines, the Indian Navy's fleet of diesel-powered attack submarines has shrunk from 21 in the 1980s to just 17 today. At least half of the available submarines are old and creaking and undergoing mid-life upgrade. To meet its 30-year submarine building plan, which was approved by the Cabinet Committee on Security in 1999, the Indian Navy needs at least 24 submarines. From a strategic perspective, these will help reduce current dependence on imports and gradually ensure greater self-reliance and dependability of supplies from indigenous sources.